man, there's so many of these like little limestone outcrops. I didn't even see so many of these things until now. Sheesh. Let's keep on trying to find the heckin' quartz. I don't think we've been down here, huh? Maybe this will have some fresh, fresh, fr oh, that's where those little things are. I want to watch out for these little whale looking big butt critter. Oh! Yuck. Oh my god, they're laughing at me. Yuck. Nasty. Yeah, here. Oh, quartz, quartz, quartz. Was that one that I missed? Inventory for. Ah, man. Oh, no. This is a new cave, you guys. I don't think we've been in here before. Okay, that thing just exploded. Okay, that's good. Let's get back to the surface. We found some quartz. That's good. Let's get some trash out of here. Preferably the veined nettle seed. I do not need that trash. There we go. Bladderfish. I guess I can drop these critters off. They're going to they're probably going to spoil it. Let's just face the facts. Get rid of that extra thing. Man, that gave me a lot of inventory space. Not bad. I'm not complaining at all. Anyways, let's go back down. Let's go grab the, uh, the cave sulfur from that guy's little nest. And that one thing, of course. Let's grab our flashlight. Oh my god, those things are poisoning us. Sheesh. It's good thing I already left. Cave sulfur. Nice. Limestone outcrop. And titanium, it looked like. Ah, man, I'm getting the hell. Oh, more quartz. Yes, we can make the uh, solar panel now. Getting the hang of this. Kind of interesting that we're, you know, mining with a flashlight, but what are you going to do? Oh, speaking of flashlight, almost have 50% durability. Increase your egg. More quartz. Getting a pretty good amount of quartz here. Can't complain. Might want to get as much as we can because we found a pretty good quartz cave. Quartz deposit down here. So, might want to continue exploring more of these, like, weird creature eggs. I don't know if I want to keep grabbing them and, you know, wasting inventory space with them, but... Oh, more quartz. Good. I don't know if there's going to be anything, you know, chasing me now that I stole a bunch of eggs. Maybe they don't know yet. In that case, maybe you guys should watch after your own eggs a little bit better. Sheesh. <laughs> Let's go back to the base. We have about a minute left of oxygen, but I'm not seeing any... Oh, a little bit of rubble right here. Let's grab it. And, you know, oh, metal salvage. Okay, we're, we're fine. I don't, I don't think we need to pick that up. I'm um, like, we have tons of titan tons of titanium already. How far away from the... Uh, 84 minutes? Nah, it's not that far. Not that far. Anyways, I'm glad we got a pretty good amount of, uh, what is it called? Quartz? Oh, a little bit of lag right there. So, I uh, can't complain too much, but definitely want to put up our flashlight so we don't waste the power, you know, during the day. I'm like, I was in a little cave. It was pretty dark, so kind of justified in that sense. But, let's go back down. Let's make the solar panel, and I assume it, like... What is this? Oh, I can make cured Gary Fish and blah blah blah. I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> Anyways, what does it say I need glass? Yes. Did it, oh, yeah, let's not turn it into glass. Let's not turn it into glass. Let's make the rebreather. I need a wiring. I, I think I can make the rebreather here, you guys. I don't think we need it right now, though. I think we're fine. But uh, what's it called? Deployables, vehicle by sea glide. Can't make it because the ingredients are unknown. Air bladder, bladder fish, and silicon rubber. What in the world? Emergency flotation device. Oh, that's kind of cool. Habitat builder. I don't think I can do that just yet. Survival knife, repair tool scanner. Spectroscope scanner used to acquire technology blueprints and data on living organisms. So maybe I could use a scanner to go scan those other guys as a sea glide and figure out how to make it. And it was equipment. That's what we were just looking at. Substance. So uh, how do I make the... the What's it called? The solar panel? I have the right materials, yeah. Hmm. I might be missing something here, you guys. Don't think I could make the solar panel at the Fabricatua. Solar power cells. 20. Yeah, okay, everything's 25-25 right now. So maybe we do not need the solar panel. Do have a message? Oh, we do. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime. Yeah, didn't it say that we can't send out a message? So, yeah. Outgoing radio communication offline. See what the long-range scans... Oh, yes. Yeah, transcripting the, uh, whatever it's called. Anyways, 
I wonder if this is going to tell me any information about uh, making a... Oh, vehicles, habitat, installations, fabric... Oh, solar panel, yes. So, uh, we're gonna make it. I guess we could read about it real quick. Solar panel. Solar panel is the most prevalent power source in the galaxy. And so it is no accident that the standard solar panel is the default means of powering a habitat. A power source is a requirement of habitat oxygen generators and other onboard modules. Provides limited power for small outposts and survival habitats. May be mounted on or near the habitat itself or placed remotely and connected via power transmitters. Power rate relative to sunlight exposure. Exposure. <laughs> so uh, I don't think we need that until we, you know, build a little base. So how about we go visit those fellas a little while away and, you know, see if we can find some more information about the little sea light thing and, you know, see if there are any survivors. Anyways, let's read about the radiation suit real quick. This suit fully protects against the effects of radiation during the land, sea, and space exploration. Safety rated up to 400 SV per hour. I don't know what that is. Cross compatible with all AEP suit functionality. Sleek. The radiation suit, a necessary precaution in a post mad world. Okay, so uh, maybe now that I have the radiation suit, I can actually go to those guys because maybe the radiation from that thing is uh, you know, a hindrance for us and danger. So now that I have the radiation suit, maybe now we can go down there finally. But, anyways, if we're going to go over there, we might want to get our food and water, you know, full. Medical fabricator. Pick that up. Oh, what in the world? That's how you close it. Oh, I guess this thing makes a medical or a first aid kit every now and then. So maybe I should have grabbed that thing while uh, it was fresh. Speaking of the devil, which probably, uh, yeah, we definitely want to get rid of some of this trash, you know? Anyways, uh, I think we have like all the materials and equipment that we can make right now, at least. So let's go back under water to those floating storage locker things. Let's try and put up as much as we can and then keep our inventory full of food and water bottles, etc, etc. Let's go over here to the trash one. I know this... It's specifically for trash. Yeah, I don't know what these things are for, so eh, let's just put like salt and that and uh, silver ore. Man, I have no room, man. All right, well, we have a lot of like critter eggs and stuff here. Drop this trash. Oh, whoa, whoa, those things are harming me. Um, what do I do with this? Oh my God, now I know what they're for. They, you, they, they're used to float upwards. Faster, I think. Whoa! Interesting. Okay, okay. Let's go back inside of the thing. Do we have any more storage in there? I definitely want to just kind of, you know, empty my stuff out as much as I can. And let's wait until it's like daytime for us to go to that place. So, yeah, this thing is, yeah, it's full. But what is it full of? Repair tool. I might want to take that just because, I don't know, maybe those guys will need it. Flare. Creature egg. Let's put these heckin' creature eggs up. <laughs> Uh, I guess I can take the flares. It's not like it's going to matter. Finger, fire extinguisher. Might as well take that too, just in case they need it too. If if they're even alive, you know, jeez. If they're not, then pff, that's going to be my base now. Hey, do. Let's go find a few fish, like the blubber fish or what's it called again? I don't know. As well as the peepers. Try and get them. Just get our hunger and our food completely full. There we go. A couple peeper and Gary fish. I don't know what that big green went in the world. Oh yeah, that's that one weird laughing fellow. <laughs> the weird laughing fish. The boomerang. Oh, here we go. Blubber fish, fella. Bladder fish. That's what it's got. Man. Ah, no, I, I know. I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Let's get some water. Consume. Oh, no, I dropped it. Whoops. Vital signs stabilizing. There you go. Picked it up. Let's drink that water again. Consume. All right, let's go find some more. Bladder fish. I keep falling, calling them blubber fish and everything else. And, oh, man, that's an acid mushroom. Ah, I thought that was a bladder fish. What in the world is that noise? Well, I don't even know what they're saying. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab this bladderfish. Whoa! Sneaky little bladderfish. Ho 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 ho! I am a giant butt critter. <laughs> oh, stupid. Alright, let's go find like we have a pretty good amount of these peepers. I don't need to worry about them. Uh the bladderfish. Yeah, oh, two more bladderfish here. Perfect. Oh, three of them. Whoa! Bunch of them, a bunch of bladderfish. Hashtag bunch of bladderfish. Whoa! Is that another? No, that's not. Oh wait, yeah, there is. Right next to the weird laughing crit. Oh! Did he just? Oh, I think he pooped. Oh, let's get out of it. Ho 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 ho! I just pooped. Ho 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 ho! Just. Oh, what is that? Heckin' Santa Claus? Oh! Yeah, there's a little bit of lag every time I come out of the water like that. Come up out the water uh, like a baby dolphin splash. Might want to make another flashlight too. My power on this thing is at 37 percent, and I don't know how to recharge it. Might need to make like another battery or something for it. I don't know. 
Either way, let's go inside. And let's go cook these guys up. Slash turn them into water bottles. Boom! Bladder fish. You have now been converted into a plastic bottle of water. I don't know, maybe it's not plastic. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's just grab them though. There you go. And of course, cook the peepers. Cook those into, you know, food. So I can, you know, eat it. Top off my hunger right now. So I don't have to worry about it during the trip. Don't think I need to worry about my, uh health right now. I do have a few, uh, what is it called again? I guess I could get some more first aid. I feel like it's going to be really important for us to get, you know, a, pretty much a full inventory of first aid kits, and it should be pretty easy to make them, you know? Just gotta go over to that one, uh, creep cluster things, one of those are called creep vines, and, uh, cut them a few times, and we'll be good to go. There we go. Everything's dead. Everything's cooked. Everything's turned into a heckin' water bottle. <laughs> and let's drink one. Boom. And eat the cooked peeper. Whoa, that gave me a lot right there. Nice. And our food's pretty high up right now. Might wanna... Yeah, let's go. Now we're full on everything. And like I said just moments ago, should be really easy for us to find some more of these creep vines and then make more first aid kits and, you know, heal us up. Especially for this adventure. We don't have very many right now. I know I just used one right now, but I'm, I'm talking about for this adventure. Definitely want to keep a few of them for the road. Anyways. Oh, we got another transmission. Let's go listen to that here in a moment. Inventory full. Let's go. Man, I really need to pay more attention to that on the right-hand side <laughs> whenever a transmission comes in, but thankfully, it just came in, and I finally noticed it whenever it came in, and not like 20 minutes later, right? Sheesh. Let's go listen to it real quick while our uh, medical or uh, first aid things are being made. How was it from that uh, one guy again? Let's see. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. <gasps> what else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Duh. But anyways, let's get some of these fiber mesh, that's what they're called, not, uh, fine mesh, whatever I was saying, uh, that was close enough. Anyways, grab a few of these, of course, turn them into first aid kits, and I think we'll be good to go for the road, you guys. Well, anyways, let's go, come on, Valmanos! Everybody, let's go! How many things do we have? We have, uh, four medical things. We have one extra creep thing, let's drop that, I don't need that trash. We have a little bit of food with the nutrient bars, and a little bit of water. And I think the water's way more important, so I have a pretty good amount of those. And I have a fire extinguisher for whatever reason. Anyways, let's keep adventuring this direction with our knife out. I did say I wanted to go during the daytime, and what do you know, it's second daytime now, so... Let's try and stay close to the surface, too. Just assuming these guys are also at the surface. Remember a little while ago, we were like 150 meters or something? 175 right now, wow. We traveled 175 meters in like... 20 seconds, so it's it's kind of far away, but not as far away as I initially thought. So I guess we should be able to get there, you know, pretty fast. I might want to pause the recording here in a second and uh, just kind of make my way over there. If anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know, but I'm going to pause the recording real quick and I'll see you guys over at Life Pod 3. Ooh, what are these things? I don't know what these things are. Should I grab them? Creature egg. Oh, we have more eggs. I don't know what these eggs are for. Not seeing anything directly trying to tell. Oh my god, there's even metal salvage all the way over here. Then again, escape pod number three is all the way over. Oh my god. We're a lot closer to escape pod number three than we were to our thing before I even paused. Sheesh. All right, well, I guess we're going to get there here in just a moment and see if there's any survivors. This is where the transmission was coming from, the radio transmission from, I guess, escape pod number three, and maybe it had survivors, but they said they were having trouble with something, so I've got my repair gun. Hopefully, I'll be able to actually help them out. Oh! Is that them? There we are! Yep, that little pod! Yep! Let's go inside! See if we can help them out. Maybe they're doomed. Who knows? Oh my god, theirs is, yep, theirs is way more damaged than... Whoa, can I open this up? Whoa. Rest in peace. I guess. Whoa, yeah, they were right next to the the Aurora, basically. Sheesh. Man, we moved all that way, and the Aurora, I guess, is so huge and so far away. It, oh my god, I can barely see my... Do you guys see that in the distance? I can barely see my escape pod there. Whoa. Not only did their sink, but it's way more damaged. I, oh my god. Oh. Abandoned PDA. I probably should have come over here a little bit sooner, to be quite honest. Integrating new PDA data. There's our medical locker thing. Open data box. Compass. New blueprint acquired. Anything else inside here? Whoa. 
I don't know, maybe it would have been like this in the first place, because they were sending out a distress signal before the explosion, so maybe they're already having trouble, maybe they're already dead before the Aurora exploded. And the, uh, radiation blast, or whatever that was called. I don't know, but, uh, I guess that's it. We have some, like, blueprints and stuff like that for a compass, and some other stuff around here, so... Everything around here in this environment looks pretty much the same as our area, so... I'm like, we're actually kind of close to it now that I think about it, you know? So it's not the most surprising thing in the universe, but... Let's, uh, there we go. Okay, good thing I'm still, like, under above water right now. Sheesh. Anyways, blueprints. What do we have that's new? The, uh, the uh, compass. Yeah. There it is right there. Copper wire and wiring kit. Displays a compass heading on the HUD. So I guess that'll help me out. Hey, northeast, southwest, etc., etc. So that's good. Anyways, voice log. Uh, yeah, that's the one we just heard. Databank. Data downloads. Aurora survivors. Life pod 3 crew log. Ooh. Oh, I guess we can listen to it. Let's see. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. So I guess they did escape with the... Little thing I forgot. God, I forgot what it was called already. Jeez. <laughs> uh, what's it called again? The Sea Glider or whatever that was called. Whatever it was. Yeah, I guess maybe they are still alive, but they escaped using a Sea Glide. Which, of course, we do not know where to find any information about, uh, you know, crafting one. Didn't find any information inside of their thing or metal salvage. I guess we can go inside again real quick. Oh! Sea Glide. Oh! Sea Glide fragment. I can't pick it up, though. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it's just a metal salvage. I do not need that trash. Uh, sea glide is right there. Ingredients unknown. Yeah, I guess I can't do anything with this thing, really. Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. I'm thinking about it right now. This just popped in my head. Detecting increased oh. foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Okay, I guess let's just stay above the water. Speaking of scan. I think we need to get one of those scanner doohickeys, and then come back over- Ah, oh, man, I probably should have thought about that beforehand. Go out to take a while to get back home and make a scanner. Habitat builder, uh, scanner right there. Battery anti- Ah, oh, man, that thing's cheap as heck. Why didn't I- I can't use their fabricator, it's underwater, I don't think I'm able to do it, right? Ah, oh, man. Really should have thought about that, but, eh, it's not- Yeah, I can't use theirs, just cause it's underwater. Yeah, yeah, slice and dice. All right, well, I guess I'll pause the recording. Go back to my base real quick. We can make the scanner, I guess, come back to here and scan it. Uh, but it seems like maybe there's some sea, -like, sea glide fragments that are close to our base. So maybe I'll see if I can find some more sea glide fragments in our base. Maybe that's going to clue us in on, hey, you need this, that, and the other to actually craft a sea glide. So I, I guess we need to make a scanner. I'm just kind of guessing here. So go to the recording, make my way back home. Let's go try and make a scanner and... See if we'll be able to find any information about making a sea glide. I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back. Just made it to the... Oh! Just made it back to my escape pod that's, you know, intact. Not bragging. <laughs> Let's go back and see if we can actually... Make now, what was it? Uh, now, remember, we did put up a bunch of our materials. I thought that was going to be way farther away than it actually turned out to be, so... I guess I kind of overreacted in that front. Anyways, a uh, little bit of titanium. We do need to make a battery, so we need those uh, little things, which is... Uh, oh, electronics, yes. So we need the acid mushroom and copper ore, which I don't know if we have any copper inside of here. Yes, we do. So let's grab that and let's go. I'm like, there's a million of them scattered like underneath our thing, so <laughs> shouldn't be too hard to find some of those mushrooms. I'm like, there's some of them are just like right here, so I don't even need to grab the ones that I drew out. So boom, I grab some of these. Oh, now my inventory is full. All right, well, we're fine. Let's go back up to our thing and see, aren't they all supposed to be floating like this? That was, that was floating. These two are not. It's not because it's underneath the thing, because this one's not underneath it. I don't know what's going on with that. Whatever, let's go back inside the escape pod, and let's go back. God, I'll have to go all the way back there. But, like I said, it seems like there might be some rubble around here that has some stuff we could possibly scan. So, let's get the battery. There we go. And, of course, we do have whatever already in our inventory. So, what's I say? Equipment and compass. Oh, yeah, we can make the compass. Yeah, I know that. Standard oxygen tank, floating air pump. Deployables. What was it again I was trying to make? Um, it was a tool, yes. Scanner, yes. Perfect. I guess we just needed one titanium and that's it. 
The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So I guess we're good. Uh, what in the world? Oh yeah, that's my scanner, and let's put the repair gun there, and I guess that's going to be our hot bar for now. No, I sh Oh man, yeah, we have cooked peepers and stuff like that. I guess I could still eat them, because I do have a pretty good amount of or a pretty good amount of water, so consume, consume, consume. Oh, that was decomposing. All right, let's consume some water. Boom, all right, we're good. All righty tidy. Let's get our scanner out. Oh, number three. Oh, number three. There we go, cell scan. Oh yeah, cell scan. It said, uh, hey, cell scan. Uh, am I fine? Oh, there we go. I have to actually hold it. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. All right then. I guess we're fine. I don't need to scan again, do I? Infected. Oh, whoa! How do I? Is there a disinfectant little fish for me to eat? I don't know. <laughs> Where do I need to go again? I think this away or something like that. Can I scan these little fish? Whoa! Scan the acid mushroom. Indigenous life forms. Uh, acid mushroom. Press tab to view. Oh, okay, okay. I guess I can scan different things here. R writhing weed. There we go. Writhing weed scanned. Does this have a health or a battery indicator? I'm like, it did need a battery to craft, and it just says cell scan at the bottom, so. Oh, there's the coral shell plate. There you go, scanned. I'm on a scanning spree over here, you guys. Veined nettle. Yeah, let's see what these things are about. There we go. And let's see what those are about. A common shallow water plant which frequently shows signs of predation around the edges of the leaves. Thick violet veins carry nutrients to the extremities of the fan and rightly colored seeds grow around the basin stem. Didn't tell me any information. Oh, can I? Might be able to scan that critter. Might be able to see what his heckin' name is, too, here in a second. Let's see what it says. I think I might be able to swim away. Oh, gasopod. Yeah, that makes sense. It keeps on farting all over the place, pooping. Big old butthole. Literally. Has like 15 buttholes. What in the world? It has like a gas mask looking face. Ugh. Gasopod. Oh my god. Whoa. If I could tame critters here, this might. Oh! Oh, it's laughing. Either it's laughing or it's farting. Or both. I don't know. Maybe it's laughing because it farted. <laughs> Anyways, yep, here we go. Here's the wrecked ship stuff that I wanted to go scan, so... Oh, a biter. Scan it. Scan the little fella. Ah, he's going. Get him. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. That makes sense. He's heckin' biting us. Man. Almost a... Oh, man. My oxygen. Yeah, I, I just now realized that. Sheesh. Now, remember, we did see, I think, a sea glide or something. A uh, sea glide fragment or something. Is that it? Get oh grab trap fragment, scan it. There you go, beacon fragment. Fifty percent. So I guess it gives me half of the recipe. So that's interesting. There's another beacon fragment. I guess now we're going to have full recipe. Yes, the blueprint synthesized for the entire beacon. That's kind of interesting. So we could actually scan some of these wrecked uh, things and grab trap fragment. Graph trap. So now we have the we have the blueprint for the graph trap, which I don't know what that is. Like, so, oh, that's a short range scan suggests this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Oh, very interesting. I guess it's referring down there, but right here in this shipwreck area, I guess. Oh, beacon fragment. Oh, what in the world? There's multiple. Uh, oh, that's a repair tool. Is this... Oh, that... Oh, okay, so I guess, since I already know the recipe, it just gave me a few, uh... What was that? Uh, titanium, I think, right there. So that's that's actually really cool. Anyways, let's go back down here. I think uh, one of these little cargo boxes was, like, open. Oh, sea glide fragment! Yes! Yeah! Look at that! Ooh! So... We just need to go scan the one over by C or whatever pod number... No, wait, no! Yeah, we got it, you guys! We didn't have to go all the way back there! Maybe we go scan theirs, and maybe we'll learn information about that weird modification they did to it that the woman was concerned about. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. Thankfully, I realized that about the same time that the little Siri told me about it. Sheesh. Man! I'm definitely catching on to this game hardcore here, you guys. I'm not a professional or anything. Jeez. But I'm, I'm learning. Anyways, let's do a cell scan. See how we're doing. I didn't have my arm out, but I'm still infected. I don't know what, though, but I seem pretty healthy. I've got a full health bar there, full hunger, 
basically full uh, water there as well. Just need to drink a little bit of water for my little bladder fish friends. <laughs> Let's go back inside and use the Fabrica Tour. Actually, don't even need to do that because now, you guys remember, we know how to make a sea glide now. As well as the beacon, which is a navigation aid that maintains and broadcasts its position configurable, configurable name. I guess that bro beacon thing is going to turn our offline radio communication to online. So how about we try and make it? What did it say? It needed copper and titanium, I think. Of course, we have copper. No, that's gold. Uh, we have copper, though. It's in one of our floating lockers outside, I believe, right? Let's go back to the Fabricatula. Let's go try and make the beacon real quick. That seems really important, so boom! And then, let's make the sea glide. It looks like we can make it right now, you guys. Boom! Oh, uh, I need a battery, lubricant, and copper wire, which we have a lubricant. We can make a battery here in just, like, one second, basically. And copper wire. We can do that right now. Let's make some copper wire. Oh, yeah. I, I think I... Nope. Yeah, I have enough. I have enough. I guess I grabbed enough copper. Yes! Alright, well, what else do we need for the battery? Two batteries for that. Copper ore, which we don't have. We, we need the acid mushroom. Do we have acid mushrooms? We have one acid mushroom, but, uh, let's just say assign quick slot. What in the world? Navigation aid maintains and broadcasts its position. Configurable name. What in the world? So, uh, I guess I can't use this to... I don't know, maybe I use this... Escape pod. Uh... I... Let's climb the ladder. I guess maybe it'll be good if we put it on the outside, so... Uh, what'd it say? How do I put it down? Uh, maintain... I guess this button. There we go. Is that gonna work? Edit beacon name. Save me, fam. Ah! There we go. Beacon name. Okay, maybe that's gonna help me find my way back to my thing, maybe, I guess. Pick up beacon. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I need that. Because... I guess I could do some reading on it, right? Hold on, what did it say? Geological, geological thing. Writhing weed. Man, we have a lot of stuff we've scanned, it's insane. Equipment, habitat insulation, vehicles, sea glide, there it is right there. What does it say? Oh, I guess we could read about it, we're about to make it here in a second. The sea glide is a personal transportation device designed for use in oceanic environments. Capable of speeds up to 36 kilometers per hour in standing water. Displays basic topographical data for aid in charting cave systems. Really nice. Replaceable battery. Good. I guess it's telling us, hey, replaceable battery. That means these other things, maybe they don't have replaceable batteries like our flashlight. Keep fingers clear of the propeller. Yeah, definitely want to be, you know, far away from that unless I want chopped fingers for dinner. Sheesh. The Sea Glide. Anything that moves faster underwater is probably trying to eat you. <laughs> mobile Vehicle Bay. The Mobile Vehicle Bay is a deployable station equipped with fabrication drones designed to construct small research and exploration vehicles from raw materials. It is a common tool in almost all industrial scientific colonization operations. Ooh. So I guess those little drone-looking things are... Those are my fabricator and... Uh, I guess other things. It says fabricator drones, and it seems like it floats above the water, which is interesting. So I guess it's going to be like a mobile... The mobile vehicle bay, exactly. So if I'm out and about, and hey, I wanna, I wanna craft something, I wanna cook something. Hey, I need to go deploy this thing, and I can cook something. Don't need to always come back, I guess. So that's interesting. Let's go make a battery by getting some these things right here. Sheesh, forgot what they're called. But we just need one. Boom! I think we're good. Battery. Boom! Combining those two, sugar, spice, and everything nice to get me a sea pod. Where's that sea glide? Whatever. What's it called? Deployables? Yeah, it's a deployable. Yeah. So oh yeah, lubricant. I think we put. That up somewhere or it's inside here? Yes, we have it in here. All right, perfect. Put up the fiber to and sea glide. Let's make it, you guys. Yes. And now, what is that other thing? The grav, grav thing? The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Mm, sounds good. And it is battery powered, so we might want to keep an extra battery in our inventory, you know? But GravTrap uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small critters. So that's kind of interesting. Don't think I want to do that right now, though. But uh, what do we need for a battery again? How many? Oh, just one copper ore. So let's go grab some acid mushrooms. Let's go grab a couple of those. Let's go make an extra battery. And how's about we go back to that uh, escape pod number three? Ah, oh, man, I don't even know where it is now. It doesn't have the little quest marker anymore. <laughs> but now we have enough of these things. Should be able to make the. Uh... Man, I, I wanted to test out the sea glide right there, but man, forgot about it. Let's go back inside, though. And let's go make the extra battery. And. Ba boom. So I guess I just replaced the battery with these regular batteries, not the uh, 
And I guess if I want it to last longer, then, ooh, yeah, that takes up a lot of inventory. Sheesh. All right, we have a lot of inventory space here, you guys. And let's get the sea glide. Yes. Oh, look at that. It's just like it said. It's making a topological map or topographical map, topographical map of the seafloor, which is interesting. So I guess I could. This is what it looks like from the side. Very, very. Oh, God, that's the dangerous thing. Yeah, I definitely want to stay away from that. Now, what does that say? Save me fa- Oh, yeah, okay, so the beacon is like an extra thing. I guess I could've laid a beacon over by the thing. By the, uh, whatever it's called over there. Da. Whatever. Oh, power 98% down there. Nah, that's not that bad, honestly. Can't complain. I wonder if we'd be any slower if we didn't have the flippers on. I know this thing is a mechanical device, but I guess maybe, maybe we're a little bit more, I don't even know, aerodynamic, but the water version of it? <laughs> Aqua dynamic? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's just... I guess go this general direction, right? Something like this. This is what I remember. Maybe we'll be able to get there a little bit faster. Now, whenever that turns into like 600 or something meters away, that's when we know we're pretty close to the other thing. And man, we're already like 300 meters. Yep, 300 plus meters away already. Jeez, we're halfway. Man, yeah, we're going way faster than I remember. Oh, oh, need to remember. Hey, oxygen. Fa oh, sheesh. Yeah, I don't want to go that close to that thing. Sheesh. Need to go over here, too. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of wreckage here. Might want to spawn or, uh, scan some of the stuff. Boom. Is this? Oh, whoops. Uh, scanner. See if there's anything here worth scanning. Nothing in there. Uh, oh! Oh, a critter! Crash fish, that's what it's called. Oh! Crash fish! We scanned the little fella. Anything else around here? I like a scan. Coffee vending machine, yes! And. Come on. It's taking a little while. Come on. Give me the info. There we go. Hey, is it working? Nah, it didn't tell me any information about it. Guess I can't make a coffee vending machine for my own ship. Or tr escape pod, whatever. Oh, speaking of vending machines, is that another one right there or is that a locker? Oh, speaking of locker, whoa. A little bit of paper. I guess that's one of the... Is that the female I heard? On those those logs? Maybe. I, oh, let's get some... Or, yeah, oxygen. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, I forgot what I breathed for a second. Sheesh. Anyways, we're really close to the Aurora, so probably want to go, like, that way here in a moment, but there's a lot of wreckage right here. Definitely want to scan it and see if there's anything here that we can, you know, learn about. Oh, oh they, okay, well, there's no more craters here. That's good. Grab some of the sulfur stuff. I guess we could learn more about the sulfur plant. And come on. There we go. Got it. Sulfur plant. Indigenous life forms. Nothing else here. I can scan it seems. All right, well, that's kind of unfortunate. I think there might be a little bit more, yep, a little bit more wreckage over here. But nothing I could scan. All right, whatever. But anyways, let's go back to, hopefully, oh, there's a little bit more over here, but I don't know if any of it's scannable. Uh, oh, yep, sea line fragment. That's going to give us, like, extra materials, I think, because we already have, yep, some titanium right there. Nice. So, if I didn't, I'm like, there's a lot of uh, sea glide fragments and stuff like that around here, you guys. If I couldn't find out how to make a sea glide, like, that'd be insane. Because there's like four sea glide fragments I know about. Of course, the two that we learned to actually figure out how to craft the thing. And then, of course, the two. One right there, and then one over at the escape pod number three. Where in the world that is at? Oh, forgot about our little thing. Yeah, we're definitely going a lot faster. I could feel it. Oh, more wreckage. Whoa, this is a completely new area with a bunch of floaters, too. Let's see if there's anything new here I could scan. Maybe get some materials by scanning stuff we already know about. Mm, that looks like, yep, metal salvage, don't need that trash. Uh, scanner room fragment, let's scan the scanner room. <laughs> uh, let's see what it says. Boom, scanner room, all right. All right then, so we need three of those for that, I guess. Scattered wreckage for geological data. Um, not seeing anything else around here that looks... Oh, yeah, usually things are in these little cargo bins that are, like, open on one side, but I'm not seeing anything else over here right now. Um, not so... Oh, wait, hold on. What is that? Is that quartz? Or salt, or something. Oxygen's doing pretty... Ooh. Seems like it's salt. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh, so if we get a little bit too deep, our oxygen isn't- Oh my god, those are the Leviathans, I think. Oh my god. Okay, don't want to get too deep. We were definitely not this deep moments ago when we came to escape pod number three. I think it might be like right here, you guys. Past this kelp, how far are we? 600- Oh yeah, it's gotta be like- Oh, 
Is that it? Yes, we found it. Yes, look at that. Using these landmarks and stuff to try and figure out where to go, and it worked. Let's go inside. Anything here I can scan? Mm, I can scan my own beacon. <laughs> No, that's going to be of any use, but um, let's scan this bad boy. Give us some uh, titanium. There we go. Boom, boom. Is there anything else around here? Any more wreckage? Not seeing any right now, the, right off the bat. All right. Well, boomerang fella. <laughs> Guess again, scan him. He's a little skittish little fella. Right, anyways, might want to go back home, try and uh, do some other stuff. Because right now, these guys are long like and gone, but hey, we got two titanium by coming over here. Well, four, and we found out how to make a couple things, too. Unfortunately, couldn't find out how to make the coffee vending machine. I know, I know. The rarest thing in the game. Couldn't figure out how to make it. What are you going to do? <laughs> anyways, this thing's going to take us home very quickly. Probably don't need to pause, but I'm going to pause anyways, because I don't want to have to wait like a million years for me to get home, even with this sea light. So, I'm going to pause the recording real quick, see you guys over at our escape pod, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, we made it back home. All righty, tidy. Let's go inside. Oh man! Oh man! This thing has a uh. What in the world? Oh, that's how you turn it on. Oh, I for a second there, I thought it had its own. It might have its own light, honestly. Uh, does it though? Uh, it does. Whoa! Oh, okay, that's why. So you could have either the light. Oh wait, hold on. You could have both on. Interesting. That's awesome. Oh God! Oh, now we can actually fly. Oh! Okay, okay, so we can actually get away from those guys in time before they heck can explode, so that's good. <laughs> Anyways, turn our little sea glide lan on. Uh, lantern, light, whatever. I don't even know anymore. Anyways, more eggs around it. Can I pick that up from here? Ooh, I can without even getting my hands off my sea glide. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Man, this is awesome. I don't need to get my own flashlight out, like, separately or anything like that. Break that and get a little bit of whatever that was. Oh! Another critter, let's go! Oh, yeah, we made it nice. Man, we got far away from our base quick there, you guys. Sheesh. Anyways, let's get our sea light out. There we go. And it's running decently low on battery, but I think we're fine. Anyways, that crash ship is still there. <laughs> oh, not doing anything about it. What else do we do here? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Let's open up our... There we go. Voice log. Sea light will increase your effective exploration range. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know about that. Data bank. Scanner room. Oh, yeah, the scanner room. We got that earlier on. I guess we can make it now, maybe? I don't know if we have enough uh, stuff to actually craft it. Oh, another radio transmission I didn't even know about. Let's see, what does it say? Land pre-recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Rescue mission here, you guys. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Whoa! Oh, I thought I didn't have any. Okay, there you go. Stabilizing. That's good. We have some nutrient bars and stuff like that, but I think that's more of an emergency sort of thing, you know? But anyways, I think we're going to do that rescue mission a little bit later on, so... I guess we're going to end the episode here in just a moment, but hey! How about we get our little sea light thing out? Let's go around, see if we can actually find some little fellas. Oh, life pod 17, 500, 509 meters away. That should be pretty good at a depth of, I guess, 100 meters. So, I guess that's what that other number there means. And it should be really easy to find these little critters. Like the little pi uh, peeper and the, where in the world, the bladder fish is. I don't see any. But with the sea glide, it should be able to catch these guys a lot faster because, of course, they scuttle away pretty fast and end up getting just out of my grasp. And I hate when that happens. Yeah. Anyways, let's keep going around here. See if we can actually find any of these blubber fish. We do need a little bit more water to make some heckin' water bottles. Oh, here they are. Boom. Bladder fish. Heaven over here, you guys. Grab them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta... Oh, that's death. Don't heck and die from that stuff, sheesh. Okay, well, we got two of them. Three of them. Boom. And, oh, four. Four bottles of water. Oh, my God, there's even more. I am not complaining one bit. Let's grab some uh, trapper uh, secret. Or, what are they called again? The pe peepers. Yeah, let's grab some peepers here in a minute. Of course, they are pretty easy to see with their big old huge glowing eyes. We just had a few of them right there. Just moments ago. Oh, here we go. There's like 15 of them right here. Let's grab them. Yeah, look at how easy it is for us to grab these guys now. They can't run away at all. Nice. Oh, 
sheesh, I'm having so much fun catching fish with my bare hands that I forgot to heckin' get some ice and sheesh. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Almost died. Thankfully, my little assistant was there, my little AI robot. All right, well, we have a lot of uh, little uh, peepers and, and bladder fish and stuff like that. Probably don't need to get too many more, to be quite honest. Let's just try and get as many as we can before we... Yeah, I'm not seeing any more of them, so I, I guess we're good. All right, we're good. Let's go. Come on, fam. Oh! Come up out the water like a baby dolphin. Let's get back inside the escape pod. And of course, we need to go find that chef and go heck and save his life here in a moment. But for right now, I'm going to save my life with some delicious water and some peepers. I'm going to have myself some peeper dinner. And of course, I'm going to have to end the episode here in a moment as well. Man, I'm, I'm loving this game right now. I hope you guys are as well. So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on the YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. But until then, Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more Subnautica, where it seems like we have a rescue mission for Life Pod 17, seems like Chef is stranded near a cave system and under attack. Yeah, we should probably not hesitate to get back over there. <laughs> oh, but I'm going to casually end the episode right now, and I guess we're going to have to save them next episode, so Chef, hopefully you're going to be fine until then. <laughs> I'm going to eat myself some food and drink myself some delicious water because I am in perfect safety. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that, chef. Anyways, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more Subnautica. Ooh, ooh, another first aid kit. Yeah, seems like it automatically makes it over time. Very interesting. Anyways, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. God, every time we have another thing. Hold on, let's see. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora, we're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Alright, that's actually a pretty good sign right there. I guess they're getting a little bit closer maybe just find out where they can actually park around here i don't know if there's a parking lot nearby but there's a whole lot of water you can land on if your ship supports it uh, certainly this ship didn't support it sheesh <laughs> anyways like i said like 15 times thank you guys all very much for watching and i'll see you guys here next time oh bye there